What's up, guys? Classy Metal here. I've got the crackhead Benny on. It can only mean one thing. I'm about to show you guys some grindcore, uh, some death grind, death metal grindcore fusion stuff going on. This is an eBay lot that I, I purchased a little bit ago. Getting kind of backed up on showing the updates. I didn't want to get too far behind, so I wanted to go ahead and show this. I won this. I think it was like 18 bucks. I ended up paying for the CD lot. There's six CDs in this, and I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, the first one was actually my introduction to this band, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think I'm going to have to uh, dig a little deeper into their discography. I'm not even sure if they're still around or active. Uh, this album came out in 2006, I'm going to say. Uh, this is Exhale out of Sweden with a prototype. Uh, this is some grindcore uh, fused with almost Barnes-esque era Cannibal Corpse worship going on, if that makes any sense to you whatsoever. I enjoyed this quite a bit. As I said, this uh, has me thinking I need to dig a little deeper into the discography. One of those things, that's why I like doing grab bags. That's why I like doing CD lots, because there was some stuff in here that I wanted. This was just kind of a bonus, and it, it's probably turned out to be one of my favorite albums that I got out of the CD lot. As I said, just a excellent, excellent death grind out of Sweden. Definitely check them out if you have not. This is Exhale with Prototype just going to list all of these albums in the description. That way, if you see something or a band that you want to check out, you can go check them out for yourself. Uh, next up, this one is a, uh, a Death Grind album of cover songs. This is uh, Exhumed with uh, Garbage, Garbage Days Regurgitated. This is a pretty interesting release from Exhumed. But, I mean, it is cover songs, so it's not going to be the, uh, the best album that you've ever heard from Exhumed, but it's pretty interesting. They're... Uh, cover of Pentag uh, yeah, Pentagram's The Ghoul. I actually think I like the Exhumed version of The Ghoul better than uh, actual Pentagram's. They also do some Metallica cover, Led Zeppelin, uh, The Cure. It's pretty interesting stuff for what it is. I, I did enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, the next two are from the same band. I actually already owned one of these, so it's probably going to go in my trade box. Uh, this is a uh, commit suicide with human larv larvae uh, earthly cleansing. I received this quite a so, uh, few years ago now from a uh, Willow Tip Records grab bag, and uh, it was definitely one of the standout releases within that grab bag. It's a uh, brutal death metal fused with some grindcore, and it is fantastic stuff. If you have not checked out commit suicide, uh, you definitely need to do a trade with me and, <laughs> and uh, get this album. The teeth on this were busted on this jewel case. If I do trade it, I will swap out the jewel case before I send it out. There's the actual disc. There's the inside of that. As I said, it's just brutal death metal uh, infused with some grindcore. Amazing stuff. Probably my favorite release from the uh, Commit Suicide discography. Also in this was uh, Commit Suicide with Synthetics. Another pretty strong release. This one, uh, I feel like, leans a little bit further to the grind so grindcore aspect of things as opposed to the brutal death metal. Uh, still still pretty decent release. I did enjoy it. This one actually arrived with a, a ton of fingerprints all over the disc. I don't know if it just showed it worse because both sides of that disc are, are pretty much silver aside from just a little bit of uh, black writing there on the front. But it just had a ton of fingerprints that I had to clean off of it. But still, pretty good release. Uh, definitely filled the hole in the collection. Next up, it, undoubtedly, probably the, the best CD that was in this whole bunch. This was one that really led me to uh, to pick up this this CD lot. This is a, it came out in 2006, but at this point, it has to be considered a gore a gore grind classic. Uh, this is Regurgitate with Sickening Bliss. If you have not checked this out. Definitely do so. Uh, gore grind isn't even a genre I find myself just wanting to listen to all that often, but this is an amazing release. As I said, it came out in 2006. It was on Relapse Records. Uh, back when Relapse Records was routinely putting out fantastic stuff, they've kind of fallen off, in my opinion, in the uh, in recent in recent times. They still uh, churn out a, a good album here and there, but there was a an error. Uh, there where relapse was just killing it putting out fantastic stuff and this was during that era uh this is the edited front artwork the inside artwork is not edited they just have this little slip thing there on the front there's the actual artwork for some reason that was deemed um 
inappropriate, so they had to put the edited artwork to sell it in stores. But fantastic piece of the collection. I'm, I'm super stoked to own this. Uh, this is probably my favorite Regurgitate album. I need to get on the ball now and pick up the rest of their discography because they are amazing. And then the last one of this was Aborted with the um, Hematobic EP. Uh, definitely probably one of the weaker uh, releases in, in Aborted's discography. I've slowly, slowly, slowly decided that I'm going to start chipping away uh, and picking up some of Aborted material, uh, chipping away at, at adding them to the collection. Aborted was one of those bands I was kind of late uh, getting getting on the, getting on board with. It wasn't until after I saw them live this past summer that uh, the love affair with Aborted actually started. So after seeing them live, it just something just kind of clicked, and I've been wanting to add more and more Aborted to the collection. So that is kind of a project I have going now. So yeah, that's all. As I said, it was just six CDs, but it was about eighteen bucks. I figured that was a pretty good deal. Thought some of you guys might be into that. I haven't shown just a ton of grindcore and that type stuff especially lately seems like it's all just been either black death or doom metal uh so there you go that's all i've got for today like i said i will link well i won't link them up but i will list in the description uh each of those albums in the order that i showed them just in case you want to uh, go check it out for yourself that's all for today stay classy stay metal i will see you all very soon i promise